I'm a fossil preparator and I do reconstructions for Paul Serino at the University of Chicago here. So um, I've, I've gotten a wealth of experience looking at anatomy, dealing with dinosaurs, but in dinosaur reconstructions we're faced with the same problems as with a fish reconstruction. That being where you're looking at something that's extinct and you don't have anything that's alive today to compare it to directly, you have to look at the spectrum of animals that are alive today. Uh, studying features, learning how muscles interacted with bones, and, uh, and then how to recreate those textures, uh, the artistic end of it too, to try and figure out better ways to make something look maybe wet or maybe look dull, or the proper texture for the scales, that kind of thing. All we have to start with is the, the fossil, you know, knowing what, what the remains look like. And then to try and bring those back, it involves a lot of speculation, but luckily in this case, the animal is preserved with um, a, a layer of scales that show what, what its skin, basically the outer surface of the body looked like. And, um, and by starting with uh, the very well preserved skull, it's, um, it, it's not such a far stretch to get an idea of what the animal would have looked like. What I'll do over top of this rough contoured body shape is I'll, I'll put a layer of uh, clay over it and then sculpt the fine details over that and the details will be based directly on the fossil. So the size and shape of the scales that were preserved on the fossil will be directly translated to the sculpture. Uh, things like the size and shape of the eye, it's a little more speculative, it's soft tissue, but by looking at the size of the orbits on the skull, you can get a pretty good idea of the eye that would have fit in the socket. And by looking at things like uh, fish and amphibians, we'll get an idea of what, what might look natural, at least, in this model so that when people see it, it looks like something that, that really could be a live animal. When I was a kid, to see a model, a reconstruction, that, that would get my imagination going, get me interested in learning and science. So to think that these models will now have a nice audience and, and could inspire kids to get interested in learning, that's very re rewarding too.